with your mama, go play with your mama. Cause I'm not the one for the games and the drama. Trust me, you don't wanna, wanna get me started. Go play with your mama, 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 go play with your mama. Mama, your mama, go play with your mama. Mama, hey, mama, go play with your mama.
That song is called Daddy's House by Jay Vall, who is a 247 Enterprise artist. Um, he is new to, well, not new to the team, but um, that song is new to the playlist. And so I, it's actually one of my favorites. Uh, all of these are my favorites. <laughs> I know I keep saying that they're all my favorites, but they really are. Um, I like them a lot, you guys. And so I hope you guys like them, too. Um, coming up next, you guys, I'm so ready for this. I cannot wait. The sun is up and shining right now, which means this is going to be a good transition into what's coming up next for you. We have none other than Miss Leanne Howard of Salon Jalou of the Midwest. This, I, I don't know much about hair, but I know she knows how to do it. So <laughs> that's all I know. That's all I need to know. That's all you guys need to know. And um, I hope you keep it locked right now. She'll be on in exactly nine minutes, everybody. And then we're going to come back uh, with more music and then have Leanne come on air live for the very first time for our style series. So everybody that's tuned in right now, Miss Williams and and everybody else in the rock and in the Midwest, I hope you guys are able to uh, hear us after we kind of dropped out for a second because we had so many people that were logged on, which is great. Um, but we got to get stronger servers over on this side. So everybody keep it locked. Keep it tuned in. GT in the Morning's radio show. Leanne Howard is up next. i 
instruments. You guys, I got to interrupt the music. I got some shout outs coming uh, your way. If you want to get shouted out, go ahead and post on my Facebook wall or the fan page wall. I have a shout out for an old friend of mine from elementary school, Miss Lindsay Kwok, soon to be Lindsay Dye. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Dye uh, in Oregon. Um, thank you for tuning in. Haven't seen you in a while, and I haven't seen a lot of other people in a while. I haven't seen Leanne in a while either, and I just talked to her on the phone, so she's all set and ready to go, you guys. She's going to be coming up next, and then we have more music after that, and then she's going to be live and get, answering all your hair questions. If you want to look good for New Year's Eve, if you want to look good for Christmas at the dinner table, um, if you have a party to go to, if you have church to go to, or if you're just going to stay in the house and you still want to feel good and look good, I strongly believe when you look good, you feel good. So... Coming up next, Leanne Salon Jalou Howard. Round of applause. Keep that booty clapping. Them 
some other girls lacking what you packing and you got them embarrassed by what you got from your parents i'm trying to see them short see them short spread apart i ain't coming up short up short kevin hart kevin hart now take off now take come on off. baby keep on doing what you're doing take off take come off. on baby keep on doing what you're doing move your feet move your feet cut a rug cut a rug Put your hands up if you the baddest in the club ha! GT in the morning's radio show, 247enterprise.com. <laughs> we just got a text message from one of our uh listeners who who tune to they, they tune in all the time um Dietra in the midwest she <laughs> she texted me because i didn't i keep forgetting that the cameras are on you guys and um one of the uh you saw my reaction to this candle that we have in the studio here and it absolutely stinks i hate this candle I don't know why they keep bringing it in here. But coming up next, you guys, right now we have her intro song for, and then we have uh, none other than Lee Ann Salon Jalou Howard. Um, I'm a little nervous because we got a lot of people. We have record numbers tuned in right now. I won't, you know, I told her what the number is, um, but it, it jumped up quite a bit since I just talked to you, Lee Ann. So if you're listening right now. Uh, just know that it jumped quite a bit. So coming up next, you guys, we have Ann Howard. Uh, so you'll hear this song and then you'll hear her voice coming up next. Don't listen if they don't know, no, and I know since they looking blue, I'm always on something. 
something new. They see me in Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom. Step, 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 step in your step, 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 step in your Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom. Step, 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 step in your step, step. That was Trina, everybody, Long Hill, Red Bottoms. It, uh, that joint right there just goes crazy in nightclubs out here. Um, and we played it especially for our uh, special guest today, um, our stylist, our hairstylist that we have on air today, Leanne Howard. Uh, she's on the line, everybody, and so I'm going to bring her up and uh, keep those questions coming. Um, Keep, keep those questions coming. I just got a, another question that just came in. Keep those questions coming because we're going to be asking her all these questions. She's only with us for a little bit. She has appointments that she needs to take care of for today. But you guys, please help me welcome uh, none other than Miss Leanne Salanjalu, owner Howard from the Midwest. Leanne, can you hear us? Yes, Greg. Good morning. Good, but don't don't say my government on on air. <laughs> People don't know How you do it? <laughs> People don't know me well, as you know, Greg. I know you for way back. I'm sorry, you see. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you for coming on um, on air today. I, I, we really appreciate it, and um, we just love having new guests and, and new uh, family members to the show. So, um, tell us what what is going on with uh leanne in the midwest just give us a, a, a short 30 second what's going on with you um i am a licensed cosmetologist in the state of illinois and right now i am currently working i'm working with um some of my local um people that i've grown up with doing photo shoots and just really trying to get my work out there mm-hmm. and make people beautiful every day that's my job that's my calling that's something i love to do and Uh, we'll continue doing (laughs) and i'm I'm glad that you that you said that because um this series right now that we're doing is um our style series it's it's going to be a new year a new look a new um feeling and a new you and so i'm glad that you um took the time out of your busy schedule to come on air with us because last week we had a uh, fashion expert from her uh, blog site and then this week we have a hairstylist a hair extraordinaire like yourself and then next week we have a fashion designer and so we're trying to get people all set up for the new year um a few questions that some people um emailed to us and some questions that i have i'll ask the questions that i have first i always wanted to know why does it take so long in a salon <laughs> um and that can be a very uh that can be very re- a lot of reasons why um a lot of stylists overbook and i'm just going to be honest i try to um run my business because people have things to do i have things to do and nobody wants to be in the salon mm-hmm. all day and it comes in with communication knowing what your client wants and giving them kind of an honest time how long it's going to really take Regardless of if it's going to take you a long time or not, you know, the people, um, your clients that start coming to you, they, they should, you know, kind of uh, see how you flow and then go from there because some stylists do take a long time. Some do a lot of extra, you know, like talking and talking on the phone, <laughs> you know, so it really depends on the person. But me personally, I try to get my clients in and out. And once it becomes your business, and something that you you know you you're running a business, so you want to be able to get those people in right. and out. Right. I'm glad you touched on that as well. Um, we have another question, which leads us into our next question. We have a question from uh, Christina, who is actually living in Italy. So we we do have people that are listening all over the oh, world. Wow. Um, she wanted to know um, in African American salons and African American traditions. She says that is it um, natural for the hairstylist or the barber to be like the counselor and the person, the go-to person for everything and kind of like the therapist of um, the person. Yes. Um, it, it, come, it, it Once again, you're riding a fine line depending on who you fool with, but it comes <laughs> back in tradition. It, it really does because it comes back in tradition where people go to the salon, they go to the barbershop looking for that experience, you know, that getaway 
that conversation, you know, nobody wants to be in the salon, you know, quiet all day. You know, sometimes you might need that free your moment mind where you have uh, a lot of different ages of women, you know, in my salon, um, I had different ages of women from seasoned mothers to young mothers, and they would start on a subject, and, you know, everybody would, like, literally sit around and kind of, you know, base, you know, talk on it. And so it's kind of helpful. I never had the same day twice. You know, I learn a lot every day if you just sit back and listen to some of the people. And sometimes it kind of helps you with your own life, too. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's very it's very good to come to the salon, you know, and kind of express yourself, you know. It, um, it's certain t uh, subjects that's a hard subject, but, you know, sometimes you need that in your everyday life. Now, you were saying that you do um, different ages of, of, of hair. Um, our, our next question that we have, um, a lady wanted to know, um, her mom, when she was younger, she says, and she wrote a whole story, so I'm going to kind of summarize it, but her mom um, put a perm in her hair when she was too young, and still to this day, she's had she's had problems with her hair, and she her daughter is at the same age as she was at. Let me, Mike. When was it? Five, five years old. She says her mom put a hair a perm in her hair. When is it a good time or a bad time or at any point do you put a relaxer or whatever it's called into a child's hair, or should you? Um, I I I'm 32, but I'm like. Uh, 32 old schooler. I go straight old school. That is absolutely five years old is absolutely too young. Mm -hmm. um, I have some teenagers, freshmen, sophomores, even some seniors in high school that still have a press. Um, it, it just depends on the person and the texture of hair. If the mom just takes the time and and find them someone who can press through their child's hair, maybe condition it and kind of get a grasp on it instead of re going to the chemical and messing up the child's hair. Mm -hmm. Because from age 5 up to 10, you know, they're changing and growing and you don't want to mess up those, you know, the baby's hair on those. and um, a lot of kids they're losing their sides, they're losing their back because they want long, straight hair too. And um, you should be able to call around to your local, you know, salons, ask questions, write down questions and stuff when you make your appointments and go into these stylists and these uh, see the stylists in the salons and um, kind of ask them questions so you'll be comfortable and you'll know what you're getting into when you're fooling with your kids here because you really don't want anyone to do that to them, you right, know, right. over time, you know. And, and if you can't do um, a child's hair, you guys... Leanne's going to give us her information, how to get in touch with her at the end of the interview here. Take your child to Leanne or some, a professional because there's nothing I cannot stay more than a bald head baby who should not be bald head. I, do, yes. I just don't, I don't like it because it's, I just see the humiliation and the embarrassment that they're going to go through um, with the whole you know, thing with the good hair and bad hair situation and things like that. How did you feel about when Chris Rock did that movie, Good Hair? I loved it because it showed, it gave, you know, different aspects of black hair, um, multicultural hair, because now a lot of people are, you know, are mixed. We have a lot of mixed children, mixed families. So mm -hmm. everyone needs to know, you know, kind of how to deal with their children here and their own here. And I was kind of happy because, um, well, they kind of touched on relaxers, but right now I feel like there are so many things going on. There are so many styles right now in society. So pretty much I wouldn't say, you know, you shouldn't do this. No, you shouldn't do that. As long as the woman feels comfortable at that time, mm -hmm. whether she's natural, bald, wears braids, wears a weave, you know, it's on that person. As long as they take the time out and take care of their hair underneath what they're wearing, you know, it should be all good, you know. Now, um, in in the movie, they went to one of the hair shows that was in the South. And I, that was my favorite part because just seeing the creativity from the hair shows and then all the movies about hair shows and things like that. Um, this is kind of a two-part question. Have you ever been in a hair show as a competitor or model or anything like that? Um, I competed in 
um, it was a while ago in 89 when I first, when I was in here in school. Mm. Um, they were student competitions, so it's been over 10 years ago, but that that was like the best experience. And one day soon, I hope to be able to compete soon, maybe in the Big Brown and Brothers show in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's a, I would recommend anybody, if they ever, if it's ever in the area or they're in the area of a hair show, it's something that everyone needs to experience. If you have a strand of hair or had a strand of hair <laughs> in your head, you need to experience a hair show. <laughs> you, you have to. Because it's so much creativity. It's just like people walking around with tattoos, people who rap. It's the way we as stylists express ourselves, whether we it's colorful, one color, if it's 20 feet tall or two feet tall. You know, it's, it's our expression. Now, you know, that, that, that kind of... I, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That, that kind of goes into the, into the second part of this question, um, because this is coming from Joe in um atlanta actually and he says i'm i'm sick of seeing all these ghetto hairstyles down here me personally i don't think that they're ghetto i think that they're creative but how do you feel about the way that these hairstyles are going i can't remember whose page i saw it on but i think i saw a picture of like dollar bills on one side of the hair and then um it was like blonde on the other side i can't remember whose facebook page that was but um yeah, you know, once again, <laughs> to each his own. <laughs> I'm I'm colorful. If when you click on my Facebook page and on my Twitter, I have, I wear black, yellow, red, green, and um red hair. That's the Jamaican Rastafarian colors. Mm-hmm. And you know, when I go out in public, I get those looks. You know, but it's a way I express myself. It, it, it's on the individual. You don't necessarily have to like everything. Sometimes, you know, we don't like what the guys do with their hair, but it's it, whatever makes that woman at that time feel good. Respect that because you don't know what she's been through, how she's feeling, and why she's wearing that hair. Mm-hmm. Maybe take the time out and ask her. You know, not in an offensive way, but you know, she might be she might be trying to. Um, she might be in school getting her creativity out. She might be, you know, that's just the way she expressed herself. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it just depends on the woman. And you, you, um, you and your family actually just just went through a tough time um, with your father. Have you ever expressed how you felt through um, your hairstyles that you that you have worn? Because actually, we had a, a young lady on our. Uh, Facebook fan page who commented on the picture that we posted of you and she said that I normally don't like the colorful hair but you tastefully did it she said Leanne tastefully did hers and so um, that kind of leads me to my question have you ever had to express how you felt uh, through the style of hair that you wore yes you know this the whole my my uh, Jamaican look that's my kind of like my salon you know scene Mm-hmm. And when I bought it to my parents, I've been a collector of, like, little Jamaican um, bracelets, jewelry, talking to, you know, Rastafarians, going to, like, the culture shows and stuff like that, and kind of getting more insight on the culture. Mm-hmm. And I had to prove it, kind of prove it to my parents, because they're like, what in the world? Why <laughs> is you, you know, what, what is this? You know, I'm playing by Marley. I like all of this Jamaican stuff. So I have to, like, explain to them, you know, why I wear it. You know, um, you, I'm African-American, and it's hard to find your culture. So that's the only kind of way I can find my culture right now at this time. So I'm into all of that. So mm-hmm. I really had to, like, break it down to my parents. Like, this is what it is. This is what it means to me. And they slowly explain accepted it so I named my salon Salon Jalou after my mom mm-hmm. and she had a hard time with it then I had to explain that to her so she loved it now so. <laughs> if, if <laughs> it, anybody, it, took a lot. it took a lot of effort if anybody uh, does not know Miss Howard, uh, Leanne's mom. She's about the sweetest person you ever want to meet, and and just yes. you know give you the biggest hugs. And when I first came to um, Providence with my stepmom uh, and uh, my grandmother and, and grandfather, um, I would always want to just be around uh, Miss Howard, and I would help with the with the students. I really didn't like kids. I still don't like kids that much, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I always wanted to be around Miss Howard and Aunt Bobby and things like that. And so. 
um you know if you if you never met her then you gotta meet her um our, we have a few more questions before we let you go um how someone wants to know how do you take care of when you see um someone with weaving their hair or like with braids and then the ends kind of get a little um i don't want to say nappy but that's the only word for it that i can coarse it gets a little coarse um how do you um, how do you take care of that um once again when you go going into your style uh when you're choosing your stylist and you go into the salon for your consultation that's key once again is a communication be <laughs> Be be forward and sure what you want when you go into a stylist. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you go into a salon, um, I recommend me. I go in when I after I consult my clients. I go in and shampoo, condition, and and I keep the ends trim. Mm-hmm. I I let them know you know that promotes hair growth. You know once they start getting that look on the ends where the, like the hair just seems like it doesn't hold. You need to really invest in getting your ends trimmed and keeping up just that small maintenance because that small maintenance will keep you from getting haircuts where a lot of people are getting now because they they just cringe at getting their ends trimmed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a a hard subject that I deal with, like, daily because, you know, a lot of people have had their hair cut off. So, like I said, you have to be very upfront and let the stylist know what you want and kind of come to that medium, that balance, you right. know, what you want with the stylist recommend that you need at that time. Now, um, into our next question, what are briefly, what are some do's and don'ts that you would have to say, um, for hair nowadays, like things to do and things that you should never do. Like don't do that ever again to your hair. Um, do and do not. Um, I'm I'm still dealing with a lot of ladies who still relax their own hair. <laughs> it's, it's such a hard battle because, you know, they have all these items in the beauty supply store. You know, everybody does hair. Everybody look cousin do hair. <laughs> you know, everybody knows that they can do something with some hair. So, you know, it's just trying to find that balance to where um, just ladies, just take that time, take that you know, that energy of you doing your own hair and go let the professionals do it, you know, and make you beautiful because it's, it's, it's hard when you have people say, well, I'll do my own relaxer and I'll, I'll cut my own hair. It's like, but you you really can't see what you're rinsing out. You really can't see what you're cutting and blending and mm-hmm. that type of stuff. So it's just stick to the professionals. You I, know, just, uh, I, I yeah. just cringe at, at cutting my own hair. Like in college... I did it, and, you know, with guys, I think it's a little bit easier because we can just put on the, um, what's the the safe? Or the guard. Right, the guard, and then just, you know, cut it or whatever. But I just always had an issue with lining, so I would still go to the barbershop to get a lining, um, which came out a little bit cheaper. But, you know, it it, it was just, I, I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, um, a lot of ladies now, because the economy is so bad, you know, they have to take matters into their own hands. But if you kind of go, maybe, you know, go to your salon once a month, once every other month for that maintenance. If you just keep up that maintenance and and your stylist can recommend you some at-home products to keep it up until you're able to come back. You know, I try to work with my clients and I, I like to see them often, mm-hmm. you know, and and I try to keep them along. If they can't come, I try to recommend them at least a shampoo conditioner or oil for their scalp or sheen you know some kind of maintenance that will get them by so they're able to come back and um you guys i didn't just pick some random stylist leanne does um my uh stepmom's hair my little sister's hair and both their you know both of them always have their hair looking good and um during the time that my dad was sick she did both of their hair um you know during that that process and it made them feel a lot better so i do strongly believe in if you uh look good you feel good um and so you know thank you for doing that uh for my little sister and everything and um we have three more questions for you okay brides how do you deal with brides do you deal with them just coming into the salon alone or do you deal with them uh, coming in with the bridesmaids, how do you feel about that? Or, or I know some stylists don't like that. Um, bride, um, 
Um, I haven't did any brides recently up on the death of my father, but I had, you know, um, I had a lot of offers this summer that I had to turn down. But um, it's kind of, you need to, once the bride got all of her stuff situated and maybe a month or two before the wedding, she could kind of come in with her pictures and her ideas and sit down and talk to the stylist mm -hmm. and make that date. Um, normally, I got up extra early for my brides. Um, I didn't really, I would have some brides, maybe they would come later, but I would just get up extra early just for that one-on-one -on -one time, even if she comes in with her mom or something like that, but just kind of give her that personal time before I open up my salon, if she gives me enough time to do that. Mm -hmm which is no problem. I know some, some uh, stylists don't like dealing with, like, the bridezillas. Have you ever dealt with the bridezilla before? Um, yes, and, and, at the, and you know, um, you don't know what kind of stress they're going under, mm -hmm. um, but you just try to keep your cool because still at the end of the day, your work is going down the aisle and to the reception and in pictures and go last a lifetime, mm -hmm. so... You know, you just try to keep your cool and try to give the bride what she wants at that time. Hopefully, everything works out to where she, you know, you know, she takes that deep breath and be like, "I love it when she's in the mirror." <laughs> that's that's a good way of looking at it, cause I I, I just can't yeah. deal with too many um, bridezilla attitudes and things like that. I just I'm people put me in place with being a people person. Uh -huh. It's just I just don't deal too well with attitudes, and in your profession, I'm sure you deal with a lot of picky people. And no, oh, I don't want it this way. I don't want it that way. And um, how do you feel like when people bring in pictures of celebrities that they want their hair done like? Do you like that or no? Um, sometimes it kind of gives me an idea what they're looking for. Sometimes some people are just dead set on what they want, and they want this hairdo to look just like. So I, I kind of keep myself grounded <laughs> and try to, you know, be in that frame of mind, like, okay, let me let her know, okay, yeah, we like this, but this is how your face looks, you know, this is your complexion, you know, I mean, I can do this style, but I can come, I can give you the Leanne style, you know, I can give you the Jalu spin on it. So a lot, a lot of my clients... When they come in, they might have their collage. You know, they book, you know, I like this length, I like this color. Mm -hmm. And I go ahead and, you know, I kind of get their vibe going. And they trust me enough to be like, just do what you do. And it works better for me because I don't have that, that added pressure. Like, oh, my gosh, if she don't look like Nicki Minaj, bang. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a problem, you know. L listen. So, like I said, it's all in that communication, <laughs> letting that person know that, you know, we like we like Tony Braxton here, but you know, we gonna have to try something that fits you. We wanna we want you, not Tony. So look, yeah. the, look, the nice <laughs> she's putting it the nice way. The real way of saying it, people. If you got three pieces of hair and you bring in a picture <laughs> of Halle Berry. Hallie has five pieces of hair. You have three. You a little short. I'm sorry. It's not going to work. <laughs> Either we need to go to the store or we need to reroute this whole hair, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, well, Leanne, we have two more questions for you, then we'll let you go because I know you're busy. Um, for 2012, for our style series, we're getting people ready for the new year. Um, you know, you can do hairstyles for the uh, Christmas dinner table or the church pew or the New Year's Eve dance floor, whatever. Um, what do you see as far as new trends coming for 2012 as, as far as uh, short, long, natural uh, weaves, wigs? It's been a lot of people wearing oh. wigs lately, too. Yes, um, that that could be a lot of issues, too. Um, okay, for the trends for 2012, what I'm liking and what I'm seeing is a lot of, um, especially for the holidays, the side sweet buns, the loose hair, the um, nice pin-up, I call it like bed hair, where you have curls and you just kind of like run your hands through it and pin it up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing a lot of layers, um, a lot of like... Um, warm colors for the winter a lot of i'm doing a lot of blacks and dark browns um some honey blonde right now um we i'm seeing a lot of on tv i'm seeing a lot of lists i'm seeing a lot of layers i'm seeing a lot of color too reds are still popular the blondes with the different hues of blondes um light blondes 
that's definitely popular. Um, me, I'm a jet black girl. I love jet black hair, and so that's awesome. It just keeps us shine. Um, I'm still seeing a lot of um, pixie shortcuts. Um, not a lot of curls, hardness. A lot of the clients are getting away from the hardness, from the alcohol, from the spritz. So they have a lot of um, spritz and hairsprays with the firm and the soft hold that keeps up these like um, nice uh, mohawk steel style um, wigs. Mm-hmm. A lot of ladies, um, as you know, cancer and a lot of different diseases, a lot of people, uh, a lot of medicines. Well, I'm sorry, a lot of people are on medicines now that it's affecting the hair, it's thinning out the hair. A lot of ladies are bald, um, you know, so that could be an issue of the wigs. Um, a lot of people just like wigs for style. Mm-hmm. So it really just depends on the woman and what she's going through at that time of life. Maybe she's just trying out a hairdo because she really doesn't want to cut her hair off or something right. like that. So, yeah. Um, 2012, I'm excited to see you know, what's walking the carpet and what's flashing across the TV and what the clients are asking for. So, you know, you have to make your own style we, I feel nowadays. We actually um, have a uh, listener who always tunes in um, and it's kind of a, su- a surprise for you because we didn't expect them to email any questions because they sometimes, you know, stay quiet. But we have a question from Jamaica right now. No lie. Wow. No, no, Ooh, hey, <laughs> no lie. Hey, man. From Kingston, <laughs> from Kingston, Jamaica. We have somebody yes. who asked you a question and they want to know when are you coming to Jamaica? When are you hosting me? When are you going to have me? I'm trying to find somewhere to go. My birthday is next month. Hey, hit me on my Facebook or on my Twitter. Spread me. And we can work it out. <laughs> we, we actually, because of this listener, because they always tune in, um, we decided to do kind of like a retreat, um, a getaway. I, I've been kind of throwing it around the studio to see if anybody else is up for it or not. But we do plan on doing uh, some kind of trip to Jamaica very soon. So we definitely got to take you along with us. Um, yes, and maybe we can turn it to. into like a, a um, like a which a retreat, a seminar type of thing. You can do some hair demonstrations and stuff, and it it'll be great. I so we'll I definitely would love that. we'll definitely talk about that. And then we actually, you guys, you got. I'm sorry, we only have um, time for one more question, but we keep getting questions coming in. We got one from um, South Africa just now. We have one wow. from um, Germany, from Switzerland. It, yeah, we we can't we can't answer. I'll I'll forward the questions to you. But the last question that we have for you, and we really do appreciate you coming on air this morning and taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, I told Leanne we were going to talk for ten minutes, and we've been talking for thirty minutes. No, oh, <laughs> thanks. Minutes. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, we want to know our our last question for you: If you could do any celebrity's hair, who would it be? They can be first living, and then. Um, one that's not famous yet or that was famous for something a long time ago? Uh, I would love to have done Madam C.J. Walker's hair. To mm. have her sit in my chair and like the first question asked, you know, about the traditions of talking and conversating in the salon, mm. that would have been like worth more than a wow. billion dollars. Just to get her insight of how she was feeling and what she was thinking, you know, back in that day to be a black, you know, what first lady entrepreneur, million wow. dollar, you know, right. that would have been awesome. And now up today, I probably would like to do, I don't know, some of everybody here, just everybody. I'm, I'm loving everybody, uh, especially who, um, do you, you know like, what? Do you I don't like even the, know. I do just like, like the, um, flabbergasted. Do you like the basketball wives, their hairstyles they go through, and, and the housewives in Atlanta and different? Okay, you know. the whole LA cast, yeah, they need a redo. <laughs> they need a redo on it. They all need to fire their stylists and let a real weave. I mean, sitting there like, oh my goodness, <laughs> every last you know? one of them. Every yeah, I didn't like, them. especially that Jackie. I don't know if I could do the Jackie here with the ponytail, but yeah, she need to do. You know. Come on, off that ponytail, let it hang on her shoulders or something. <laughs> she was too raggedy. All oh, see, this is this is the reason why we don't get too in debt on air, you guys, because we'll sit and talk forever. But yeah, they all of them need to re 
redo their hair and um I'm, I'm like I'm yeah, feeling they need a redo next season. I'm feeling the the Nene hairstyle, you know, the short, I like that. Um the basketball wives mm-hmm. in Miami, I'm I'm loving. You know, I I just I like seeing different variations of hairstyles. I really do because it does express who that person is, and I really, really like it. I, I wasn't expecting the Madam C.J. Walker thing. No, I, I would actually like to be sitting in the salon while you're doing her hair. I just want to know when, where, and how did you come up with the hot comb? Like, what made you get up and say, "I need something yeah. hot to get through this"? Yo, it's just too coarse. How do, you, <laughs> how do you come up with right. something like that? So, I, yeah. I um. Then- I feel you on that one. So, Leanne, are there any questions or any last-minute things you want to tell the fans out there, the listeners, and how to get in touch with you? Um, you can get in touch with me um, at uh, Salon Jalu on Twitter. Um, that's Salon, J-A-H, Lou, L-U, on Twitter. And I am Leanne Salon Jalu Howard on Facebook. So you guys can hit me up on my page, and I can give you all my in- contact information on there. Um, you can check out my page. I have a lot of, um, you know, photos and photo shoot pictures, so you can kind of skim through and check out my work, you know. And I appreciate everyone all over the world listening to me, GT. I really appreciate you having me, and hopefully I will be able to talk to you real soon again. Absolutely. And we thank you so much for doing this because we I am trying to build this uh, brand, this GT brand, and we're doing a lot of things. And so we appreciate um, professional and business people that take time out of their schedules to come on air and talk with us. Um, so I really do from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it, Leanne. Um, I pray that everything goes well for you and Salon Jalou. If you guys don't have any other place to go or if you just have any other questions, you can email them to us or you can uh, tweet them to Leanne. I'm going to put all of her information as far as the Twitter account and the Facebook account on the um, fan page on Facebook, uh, the GT in the Mornings radio show fan page, and then uh, the Twitter out Twitter as well. Um, I have to follow the salon because I want to stay in on what the styles are for men. Do you do men's hair? Like, do you cut men's hair? Um, yeah, I will. I um I had a few men that I cut and I especially cut my dad's hair and so you know he gave me he he let me practice on them so right now I'm I really feeling the confidence of I can take it down a little bit you know I'm working on my face skills <laughs> but I'm getting there so watch out for me I might be you know a stylist slash barber so. <laughs> You know, I can I can take you down and line you up pretty good though. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. Next time I am in town and um because we're gonna be trying to do a tour very soon too. So we wanna definitely okay. include you with that. Um you guys, just a rundown of the twelve countries that are tuned in right now. We have United States, South Africa, Germany, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Denmark, Switzerland, Spain, Belgium. Austria, Romania, and uh, one more, Jamaica. So everybody is listening to uh, Leanne Howard of Salon Jalou in Rockford, Illinois. Thank you so much for coming on, Leanne, and be blessed. And we'll talk to you soon. Bless you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everybody, this is GT in the Morning's radio show. We just had uh, Leanne Howard on um, of Salon Jalou in Rockford, Illinois. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know some of you are going to get back to work um, because I can see you guys are logging off right now. <laughs> are logging off right now. So before everybody leaves, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for listening to um, everything that Leanne had to say. We really appreciate her coming on the air this uh, this morning and, and taking time out of her busy schedule. So keep a lock right here. GT in the Morning's radio show, 247enterprise.com, 247radio. Some of you are listening from your Ustream mobile app, um, and some of you are listening from work or wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. You can email us, gtinthemornings at gmail.com. You can tweet us at gtinthemornings, or you can hit us up on our Facebook fan page, GT in the Mornings Radio Show. And we're going to put all of Leanne's information on um, that uh, fan page right now on Facebook. All right? GT in the Mornings, 247. Red bottom, long hill, red bottom, long hill, red bottom, long hill, red bottom, step, 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 step in your step, 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 step in your what, what, What's this serious answer? Miss Trina, private dancer, long hair, don't care, left no evidence like I won't dare. Now they trying to smell from a perfume. If it was
not me, then home. I'm talking about could have came out tonight wearing J's, skin tight jeans. Would have worked, but hey, thought it was time for a change. I'm guilty, what can I say? Kind of like M.I.N. What's, what's, what's good? Hey, you know me, then what, what's hood? I said it, I'm a problem, I get it, but Diamond Prince is same with it. I'm about my dough, get my cash. Yeah. I'm what everybody's staring at, they see me in. Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom, Long Hill, Red Bottom. Step, 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 step in your step, 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 step. Falling everywhere, I don't care You know we in the club 
Diving in, doing cannonballs. Dog, I'm cute on this tracks. It's a bloody mess. I'm beyond your top three. I'm the off the best. Everybody want the crown, but it ain't happening. Too many cheap male rappers call him Tracy Chapman. Respect my fresh the title, it is all mine. Cause I sold more records than Kia Shine. I was caught, never follow, be your own guy. I don't wanna be a star, I want the whole sky. The Michael Jordan of the fake, I'm the damn man. Like a team, I die ballin' like the sixth man. Now he get in the zone like a box of one. They call me one night doula, cause I hit and run. I stay hungry every day like it's Ramadan. And add cheese to my bread like it's Papa John. A lot of people say they ball, but not at all. We the center of attention. Pop us all. Pop bottles in the club. Ladies, here I come. That's why I talk like a king, cause I ask. So stop with the hate and stop with the fake in my easy get money. Throw it up like it's playing. I'm a stash like the top of my mouth. I call Monica Lewinsky, tell Shorty I want more. Forget Bill Clinton, give me. So I'm sure with LA. I don't need a pimp cup like I'm Don Juan. Cause I will cut every woman like Shaka Khan. You ain't gotta give me brains, just lick the tip. So I can bust wide open like a bag of chips. You already know it's whatever, prick. She left you cause she said she won't bash. If I don't get the top, then I want the draws. Cause I'm always seeing ZDs like it's Mardi Gras. I'm a player, face the facts, I would never change. And bench rumors only wish they could do the same. Your moms and your sisters, they some dime pieces. That's why you got a little brother and some real niece. Stop with the hate and stop with the fake in my eat to get money. Throw it up like it's raining. Money ain't a thing tonight. Cause you rockin' with the thing tonight. So we tell them just stop with the hate and stop with the fake in my eat to get money. Wear red and that Chris wear blue. So what can other haters wear, huh? Too long flu? I X, Y chromosome, so I'm plucking them birds. You do facts, cut it up, watching you got served. Ew. All I got is my balls and they hella big. I skeet them out, Octomom, that's a lot of kids. I don't use lifestyles cause I carry mags. And put my stuff in they water like a tea bag. Let's make it clear, I want stacks on deck. Or I'ma stretch your veins out like a Jodeci neck. Cause this young fly Oh, okay, that song is clearly not edited. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't eat breakfast. I came straight from work into the studio, so I have a cracker in my mouth. I'm sorry. But I got to thank you guys. We're at the end of the show anyway for today. But I got to thank you for tuning in to, to today's show and supporting um, myself as long as, as well as um, Leanne. Uh, Howard in the Midwest um, I want you guys to hit her up on her Twitter account on her Facebook page just support her you know we have to support our own and even if you're not black or if you're not um, it, it doesn't matter who you are you can you still need to get your hair done and so uh, go to Leanne get your hair done by her and um, have her hook you up because she is a dynamic hairstylist and a designer she's, she's just awesome all around here she's also a really really good person so if you ever get a chance to sit in her chair, which I hope you do, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And then you'll feel the love that I feel every time I talk to her and we um, communicate. So, you guys, thank you so much. 
for tuning in today. Thank you so much for being part of the GT in the Mornings radio show. We still have a few minutes left, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and sign off right now because I'm tired. You're tired. Some of you are at work about to hit your lunch break. Have a good lunch. Have a good afternoon. Have a good day, everybody. Uh, a good rest of the week. It is. Oh, I forgot it was Wednesday, so we won't be back until Monday. I almost forgot. So we're not going to be back until Monday, you guys, because we're on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday until the new year. And then we're going to try to push to be on um, five days a week. But we have to get more um, support from you guys in order for us to get the sponsors so we can pay for us, for me to be on uh, five days a week. Um, I'm a little expensive, just so you know. (laughs) Just so you understand what's going on. I am a little expensive when it comes to getting me on air every morning this early. So it's still it's eight o'clock right now in, in Las Vegas. And that's my time for today. You guys make sure you tune in on Monday because Monday morning we're going to have another special guest. Um, follow my Facebook page, GT in the mornings radio show, uh, my Twitter at GT in the mornings or uh, email us GT in the mornings at gmail dot com um, or text us eight one five five two zero six one five six. That is my personal cell phone number. So I will be able to get in touch with you guys um, all throughout the weekend and the rest of the week. Um, but next Monday we have being Latino, uh, dot com representative and extraordinaire and a friend of mine as well, Libby Julia. She's going to be here on Monday. So I'm excited about that. I'll give you more details about that during the week and, and the rest of the weekend. So you guys have a safe and wonderful weekend. Be blessed. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Remember a little GT in the mornings makes everybody's day a lot better. I'm done. Thank you. So might as well go crazy That's why baby like F you pay me Kids growing up fast raised by single ladies Microsoft teach them the ABCs TV show them the way they should be The whole world seem like they in a trance Only a few open their eyes and get a glance The world is on your shoulders Move, dance, writings on the wall Superstition is out Now I understand what Stevie was singing about Peace to the gods, knowledge, wisdom and truth We celebrating the living, look what we've been through From the noose and the trees to the malls and spring it ain't 40 acres, but we touching some cheese. If we can get out the hood, think in the hoods for us. In a shady society with nobody to trust. I'm a slave to the game. If you stay down, your life can change. I chase the dream, life flowing with. I can feel my touch with this. Sometimes it's hard to just believe. I'm a slave to the game. Till we gonna miss it, not to be all up in your vision. Number one, everything. Look at television, my slack promote.